I'll just drop this, this massive box for boxes here. So I'm gonna show you what I've ordered. It is pretty much Zara Basics. This is a dress. That's pretty, right? And we're gonna go to Starbucks. Flying high. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, my name is Eva. I live in London. I publish a lot of vlogs, uh, mainly fashion and beauty related. And if you like that sort of thing, please hit the subscribe button. And um, today's video is going to be a vlog mixed with Zara Hall, but I also am going to try out uh, something that arrived yesterday uh, from a brand called uh, Oya. Uh, which I'm gonna basically share my impressions with you. This is actually, this video is sponsored by Oya, so a little disclaimer. Uh, but I'm actually excited because it looks like a, a wonderful product and really, really nice for pampering in these sort of days when we're in lockdown, not much to do, but you want to kind of feel a little bit more special at home, uh, get that spa experience, just really treat yourself at home. Um, it can be very difficult guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting to the point where I wouldn't say I'm bored bored, I just fancy a change uh, even it is just, you know, go central and have a walk around central but we're not really meant to do that so um, yeah, it's a little bit difficult having said that, I'm actually, I need to go central tomorrow uh, unless things will change, uh, so I would film it I would be bringing my husband's cousin, who has been staying with us for the past month, uh, to the French pharmacy. Uh, he is 17, he doesn't know London that well, uh, so I shall be coming with him to the French pharmacy in marie -Bon for his Covid testing, so he can actually fly back to his university in Rotterdam. So fingers crossed, because I think it's been now five times since his mom had to change the flights. Uh, so it's either cancellation or they move it to another day. Plus, as you know from the previous video, we all had COVID over Christmas. So yeah, <laughs> that's the story. Uh, so we will have to go central. I need to also plan it in my head that we do it in the morning, which is going to be a challenge because that boy doesn't really wake up before 12. Uh, but I have to do it like that because I want to do it whilst Liam is at necessary. I don't really want to bring Liam uh, with us central. Not that I'm worried, but it's an extra hassle. I don't want to be stopped by anybody and asked. And I know people say, oh, don't worry, it's not that bad. But you never know. Like, it's definitely obvious that they are more... Like, police is definitely more on top of things. Uh, they're really checking on people, at least in London, from social media, what I've seen. But you know, nobody says that they're gonna stop us, but I basically don't want to bring him um, just for the sake of it, so hopefully we can do it in the morning and Daz is gonna wake up quite early. Now, another thing, so Liam is already at nursery, um, I'm now gonna probably film some videos, I have got a lot of to organize, uh, I'm also trying to sort out Liam's check birth certificate, which can be a nightmare, um, you know, too many things, too many steps before you actually get it. And then whilst I have it, then I have to apply for his Czech passport. Uh, he's got Irish one, but I thought uh, this is quite a good time during lockdown to actually do things like that when we're not really busy. Uh, so I've got an appointment and now I have to basically, I had to get something called Apple Style. Uh, so, you know, that like a, a certain government body verifies that this is a real thing, that it's like real uh, British birth certificate, then they send it back to you, so I've done that, and now I have to send it to um, a translator, not just a regular translator, but the one that has got the power to give you, again, a special stamp, <laughs> everything has to be special, special stamp, um, to go with it, which you then bring to the embassy. So very complicated process. Uh, Tiger has to come with me, they want both parents there, which I don't understand why, whilst he's not even Czech citizen, doesn't have even Czech passport, nothing. But that's what it is. Um, and funny enough, I actually did, uh, because I studied masters in English, I did one of these courses to be, uh, you know, this translator for official documents, but I never started to do that. My heart's just not in it, I'm not the best I don't have the patience, I don't have patience for more difficult or legal documents to look up the terms. 
And I appreciate maybe when you actually do it, you know, it becomes really easy because it's the same documents all over. I've done a couple of uh, like paid jobs when I was still at uni translating some, um, I think more complicated. I think one was more uh, science project, which I was translating and that was a nightmare for me. <laughs> Another one was like a legal document. Um, so yeah, not my cup of tea. Um, so yeah, I need to send it off ideally today, uh, make the payment. Um, I'm planning to do also just small changes uh, in my makeup room. So I'm seriously thinking, got inspired by my friend Andrea. Uh, her Instagram is Launeden. Uh, so she had this like small room, which is like her closet slash office. And she put uh, molding on the wall. So I'm thinking to do that. And I want to attempt myself because I just basically does not want to do these things, let's face it. Uh, so I've measured it, I, I started to look online and I want to do it as soon as possible. Uh, so just need to get the right mold, order it. Um, maybe I need to just consult with Tyke if it's going to fit in the car or if I'm just going to get it delivered. Uh, so I want to progress on that. I was picking up some new prints uh, for the M's group, which I'm it also mentioned that I'm going to be improving, so trying to do like bits and pieces around the house. Um, I feel um, I just do so much, <laughs> but at the same time I'm bored. Um, but it's good, you know, it's good that, you know, finally I just need to push myself. I'm really glad I'm finally after four years doing the Czech birth, birth certificate because when I was um, kind of inquiring about it before, you know, we had so much and then you go and register the baby and, you know, you have to go to see the healthcare visitors all the time and constantly something and the vaccinations and I'm like, oh, I'm not taking more paperwork or anything where I feel like I have to be somewhere, do something, fill more forms. Um, so I left it quite late, <laughs> four years, um, but I'm ready now to do it. Uh, I think this is this is a good time, and you never know when he needs when he may need the Czech passport. I think it's a really good passport to have. So is Irish one. I was actually looking at the ranking, and Irish is above Czech, but it's still a very good passport to have, uh, especially now after Brexit. So that is the plan. Um, as for the Zara haul, um, I have got basically two orders, and the first one came in two parts. The second one arrived yesterday. And that was at the time I mentioned it in the previous vlog where I felt like the stuff is just not great, that sizes were gone, uh, just everything was gone. Apologies if it's my <laughs> washing machine in the background. Um, so I don't know even, I haven't tried anything on yet uh, because I wanted to do it in this vlog. But it's very basic stuff, so it's like black, things you can combine. But now thinking more about it from what I've ordered in the other um, order, which hasn't been even shipped or processed. Um, I think I'll return some. Um, but let's see how it fits, how I feel, you know, something that may look just like that when I took it out of the box and I may be like, oh yeah, I'll keep this, may look totally different when I actually wear it. So I want to show you that as well. So um, I'm going to later talk about these Oya patches. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, so it's basically like anti wrinkle all in one patches. And you've got directions at the back, you put it on um, your face, uh, like different obviously areas. And uh, you've got forehead, you've got four eyes and smile patches, one neck patch and one chest patch. So seven patches in one. Uh, so it's going to be linked down below. Uh, all the information and a discount code as well is going to be linked down below, guys. So that's it. I'm going to now probably top up my makeup, just sort the hair because it's really rainy and very humid. So it went down a little bit and do my first video of the day for my TikTok. This is my messy drawer for eye palettes, anything eyes related. I do also need to sort out. I need to basically get rid of a lot of stuff. Let's face it, it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm now for a search for a nice, if I have it, because I don't have many crazy palettes, like orange um, eyeshadow, just for this video I'm doing. Oh, these are black. These ones actually don't suit me at all. Um, you can't pull off that many things when you're older. Having said that, that Ali Martin I mentioned before, she's pretty good and she is five years older than me, of four, uh, at pulling off really any makeup. Um, but I guess she works with good base. We are all different. No, that's all neutral. So 
I need to put you down and try to see if I can find one. Okay, this is the closest I found. It actually doesn't translate as as well on camera, uh, but it's like a peachy, more kind of orangey tone. It's the Pat McGrath palette. Uh, some more kind of crazy colors, which is nice to have when you work on content. This is quite wild makeup again. Um, it's just like if you film, if you film, if you create content, everything looks more washed out. Uh, so if you want to make a statement, and honestly, I, I said it last time, this is nothing. Um, you need more like uh, more specific eyes, more specific lip colors. My eyes, I've got hooded eyes. With age, it gets worse. So I can't really do like crazy art uh, makeup. Like no, not for my eyes. It just doesn't really work. Um, uh, but I do admire that. I do admire if somebody can uh, do it for fun, you know, like it's very extravagant and it definitely makes a statement. Um, but I like to go for different lips. Um, this is actually one of my boldest lipsticks and it's um, it's by Laura Messier. It's the Extreme. It looks like a pencil and it's called... What's the shade? On Point. I've actually featured it a while back on my Instagram, actually on the feed, because I loved it. Uh, just like a makeup look. Um, so it's really nice. I, uh, now it looks like I don't pretty much have makeup, just the bright lid. Uh, but I've used the, the Pat McGrath palette uh, for that. So let me film the other part. It's basically this video, again, transitions. I literally have done recently like six transitions. Like, um, let's say my friends um, or people I know um, from blogging or TikTok or Instagram, they sometimes send me these ideas. Um, and recently it was all just transitions, but I also want to film another fashion video, which I may not do today. I'll see I'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I've done like at least six different kind of transition trends. So I'm trying to do at least like different lip, different makeup, because I very often opt for like neutral eyes. And I'm gonna now just brush the hair out and finish it. Uh, whilst I'm filming, I also thought, uh, when I'm sitting here, I've got actually the boxes, the Zara boxes here, so I'm going to show you what I've ordered. It is pretty much Zara basic, so don't expect anything exciting, and then when I have time I can try it on. It may not be even today, and um, it's very dull, but it's meant to be dull tomorrow, that's quite tricky, but um, I will definitely show you what it looks like on, either in the mirror or just um, on the camera. So these two arrived um, much earlier on than the other two, but I've actually just read online that my, na uh, my area is actually blacklisted because of the amount of COVID, so they're not actually delivering um, much post. And I'm like, where is my post? So who knows? So I'm definitely keeping, well, I hope I will. I haven't tried it on just this uh, basic t-shirt. I think this was like just $3.99, but I feel like I need to just top up on some basics, so just like a simple v-neck. And I really loved, um, this is almost like a little bit darker shade, I don't know if you remember my Valentino Rockstar bag. Um, so I would call it like a powder, uh, kind of pinky shade, uh, really nice. I think this is easily to go with many of my blazers, including like navy, black, um, white ones, just leather jacket, just a really nice simple basic. And that's basically what I've been ordering, like a lot of basic stuff, apart from in the other Zara haul there's gonna be some dresses, um, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep it. Um, I don't wanna keep everything because <sighs> got nowhere to wear it. Genuinely I got to that point um, where I feel like I don't need anything. Maybe some nice track suits. Um, this I quite liked. Um, again it went, um, my thought was it's like a polo neck. Uh, but I'll see when I try it on how I like the quality. So it's like um, a sweatshirt, but like a polo neck sweatshirt. I can't remember the prices anymore but I'd say around £10. So I'm going to look at the composition and stuff, how I feel. Um, it's also like a shorter, so I want to see what it looks like on me to see if I'm going to keep it. And then I'm going to um, look at the other one that arrived yesterday. There is one thing for, uh, for my mom, which she wanted to get on the Czech Zara, but that was sold out. I, I must say the Czech Zara is even worse. Like everything was gone within days, minutes, days, sizes. I mean, I've tried to track, um, I've tried, I tried to track stuff that I liked here um, and normally it's quite good because uh, yes when I'm buying basics I'm not talking about basics but certain things 
that basically are hyped here nobody would touch in um, Czech Republic um, so normally it's quite good okay so the next thing I thought I could wear and this is a high contender for me to keep it's just like a simple dress uh, this is like a jersey style dress. I think it was like £10. It's got short sleeves and a polo neck. So I thought I could wear this just with blazer or leather jacket, biker boots, even trainers. So I thought this is really timeless piece. And also, if you want to feel a little bit dressed up, not just to wear your um, tracksuit buttons all the time. Even like during lockdown, I could just put this on. If I'm just running some errands or something or going to the shop. I know it's not a very exciting opportunity, but... I thought this this is nice for several seasons and let's face it the, um, the UK summer is not that great so I think this could easily be summer dress as well then I really like this I feel this shape of dresses really suit me um, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it I'm not already impressed by the fabric and I'm worried that it's gonna be transparent so this is like A-line dress. Um, I really like the color and the buttons. This was also, I think, just ten pounds. Yeah, and um, they only have got large left, uh, which is fine because normally it gives me a bit of more um, length. But yeah, I will see what it looks like. It would be really nice to be able to have the other order, so I can compare out of everything what I want to keep. But nowhere nowhere near coming at least they've extended um, and I'll just show you just quickly my mom's dress um, it's literally like a nice uh, white summer dress really easy she likes these easy dresses you can tie it in the waist I think it's like midi dress my mom is quite short I'm, I'm super tall I think this was 15 pounds and this was like sold out in check uh, which doesn't surprise me because it's a very kind of timeless um, simple dress so it's nothing exciting um, I think probably this one is the most dressy yet I don't know if I'm gonna keep it but I would love this like maybe maybe even um, as a contrast with these um, with these boots and maybe my white teddy coat but that's when you go somewhere I'm honestly not gonna <laughs> wear it to the park with Liam do you know what at the start of the lockdown I'm like yeah I'm gonna dress up and sometimes I do a little bit just but more still kind of dress down, like I would do a leggings blazer and maybe a bit of a heel or like a nice coat and put on like a Chanel brooch, just tiny little hints of dressing up, um, but not like majorly. But I have fun at home <laughs> creating content for other people and um, just play around. And I must say, even with the makeup, like it's, it's quite fun to try different shades, different lipsticks, new products, and I've never used basically so much different things like ever in my life now when I'm basically when we're in lockdown so that's the mini Zara haul um, I will try when I get a chance to actually put it on and show you what it looks like on maybe style it a little bit I don't think these will be available but if they are I'll try to either put a code or a link to it but I will put on links to whatever I'm styling it with if that's available so this is my mini Zara haul. Okay, change of plans. This is not ideal because you won't see a full body here. Um, but my light wouldn't be big enough if I move it to Liam's room. It's just too much hassle for vlog, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but I thought I'm gonna show you the pieces. I'm not gonna overstyle it. But I think this is lovely. I like the color, obviously it needs um, ironing or steaming. But I think with a v-neck and t-shirts like this, I've got some blazers here. So if I was to throw over a blazer, just a very simple look, even with these leggings. Um, especially now, these days, when uh, maybe it's a school run, grocery run, post office, and I think these are really good for accessorizing when it comes to like necklaces. So, this is uh, one of my favorite necklaces, it's from Misoma. Uh, it's like a little tea bar necklace. If I manage to <laughs> put it on, that would be great. Okay, that's it. So then you can work well and you can layer, you can put more. Uh, so this is uh, the t-shirt. So I think I'm keeping this. It's a nice basic to have. Slightly different color than a uh, black and white or gray. And oh, I've got some choreo coming. That's probably going to be for me. What is he doing? What is it? He's looking at my door. Is it 
looks like flowers. Okay, we just drop this, this massive box. Let's see what it is. Oh wow, so nice. Oh yeah, I've been invited for a Zoom event with their Malogica, so it's the new product. But they also send me a yoga mat, which is handy. My one is quite better, so very good. <laughs> So I just need to get a glass of water and we can continue with the Zara haul. Um, yeah, so I'm keeping this one. So let's see uh, how I feel about the rest. This is the sweatshirt and I think I'm going to return this just uh, purely because of the fit. Um, although it was £10, I don't think this is what I'm expecting with sweatshirt. I do like the top, I do like the, obviously the polo neck. Um, but I feel like the sleeves are too short. This is short, so I, I would be limited only with like high-waisted stuff. The fabric feels really nice, so if they still guys have it and you're quite petite and you're shorter than me, maybe maybe go for it. So this probably will be return. The dress, you can't really see it fully, um, but I like it. It's very relaxed. I think I can wear it with some of the boots. Uh, it's got the polo neck. I think it would look nice with like a cropped leather jacket. I've got one here, so let me try. Could be good if you're pregnant as well. Because uh, you've got quite a lot of room here. And it's something you could wear on a lot of occasions. Yeah, this is pretty cool, a simple dress for running around. You could layer some necklaces here. You could wear with statement earrings. I'm wearing actually these from Swarovski, they're quite statement. So I like these. You could wear this with kind of more chunky boots, more elegant boots. So this is staying. And now, I'm quite curious about the white dress, so let's see how that's gonna look. Right, the light is terrible, but I thought I'm just gonna show you with boots. So it's really easy dress. I think you could be, if you don't have like overly strict environment, like office environment, you could literally wear this um, in the office as well. And you can belt it, which is going to look also good. So depending on what style of belt, you can really transform this dress. So yeah, and the fabric feels really nice. So this was a good, simple buy, good lockdown dress. Very easy to wear, actually so pretty. I love the shoulders. It's just short, as most of these dresses. This one is kind of similar shape and it's super short on me, so I need tights. Um, this is a bomberant style, also Zara. That's this advantage when you're very tall. And I mean, if I have the legs of the 20 year old and the bum, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. So I'm flashing a little bit, but yeah. This is, um, yeah, I'm quite undecisive. Let me show you in the big mirror, but it's so pretty. I mean, this is the top. This is really pretty. So this is a dress. That's pretty, right? I really like it. This is so cute. Could be such a nice blouse as well. Hmm. A bit of stain here. I don't know guys, what do you think? Maybe I'll wait for the next order before I decide to return this one. I honestly don't know. I had to lie down, it's exhausting to film. Um, what do you guys think about the dress? I think the vlog's gonna go up this weekend, but you know, I can't decide. It is pretty, I haven't bought a dress for a while. Yeah, it is super cute, but where am I gonna wear it, right? That's the decision I get my friend Margita, she makes me send everything out, everything. She's the worst. Like it's good and bad because then she doesn't let you to keep anything to have a bit of joy. Anyway, I need to now tidy up and start to think of for lunch. Today I can have pasta, egg-free pasta, so vegan pasta. Uh, so I assume just to make my life easier, Liam's gonna have pasta uh, as well. And then I'll pick him up. So yeah, my time alone is, is done and still so much to do. <laughs> so timing is good. I'm gonna now send this. This is the um, Liam's birth certificate. So I'm gonna go to post office before I pick him up. That's my favorite way to do because I know I don't have to 
think about it. It's normally not all crazy busy this time as well. And I can kill two birds with one stone. Pick Liam up and stop at the post office. Desmond just woke up, I told you. It's usually just before 12. Uh, I've never been able to sleep that long, to be honest. But he's 17. So why not? It's just like... We're like two opposites, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm a morning person, like super morning person, and he is not. <laughs> Good morning. So there's my vegetable soup for Liam. It's probably eight. I am planning ahead because I want to have lunch ready at 12 and I'm taking Des, uh, my husband's cousin, for the test, for COVID test in French pharmacy. This is my outfit heading central to do the... Covid test, very black, but I really felt like this because it's miserable and it's raining, I want to be warm, comfortable, yet look a bit cool, I think the hat makes this outfit and I'd say the boots as well, so let's go. Being out on the train is real. What do you think, Desmond? Very real. <laughs> Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop We are at Oxford Circus. How exciting! It's such a basic thing. Uh, so we're gonna go to the French pharmacy to do the test. I need to actually buy one product. I was recommending now, like a cleanser and for blemishes. And we're gonna grab Starbucks, yay! <laughs> so exciting! And uh, Desmond's gonna probably get a lunch at Wasabi or somewhere. I'm still on the detox, so minus the coffee. That's not counting, but uh, yeah, it's miserable, but I'm so delighted to be out. I just saw Zara, wouldn't mind to go in uh -huh. if they would let me. Yeah. Oh, my nephew was just calling me. He needs help with his English uh, homework. Oh, okay. So I said, I'm going to call you later. <laughs> this is the French pharmacy. You remember the vlog from before. Uh, they do the test for £125, if you're interested. I'm definitely going to buy some products as well. Well, some here. I'm going to pick... I need to check uh, which of the products I was recommended from the Effa range. But look how well stocked the guys are here. It's so good. So good. So I'm getting these two. That's the cleanser and this is a clay mask I got recommended. So excited to try. That's Dr. Marine. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Actually now on Wimpole Street uh, trying to find a lab where you drop off the test just to speed up the process so we can have the results tomorrow. So it should be somewhere here. Very simple and easy if you come to have it done in the French pharmacy. So we're now officially finished. We dropped it off to the lab. Desmond's kindly holding the umbrella because it started to rain more. And we're now going to go to Starbucks. Desmond is choosing his lunch. The treat lunch. Look, and yeah, these are the hot foods. So you have got here the names. Oh, classic katsu curry. Sweet chili. Oh my god, they do. And it's actually cheap. It is really cheap, yeah. Uh. Skinny caramel soya latte. Guys, so we just got home. I um, We got home, jumped in the car, picked Liam up. Uh, my makeup and my hair is, yeah. I've just spent uh, several hours in the rain. And if you follow me for a while, you know I don't like to carry an umbrella unless I have to. And it's always like difficult with the filming and everything. Uh, so I tried to obviously film some stories in the pharmacy and then out and about. It was so nice, honestly. This made my week, just being able to go central. Something that should be so normal. But I've enjoyed it despite places are uh, closed. Um, I also popped into Holland and Barrett. Uh, I'm on the detox, which I mentioned before. Uh, so I think next week I have got two breakfasts, which is like a millet. 
uh, which you make it, make it like more like sweet version. I can't remember exactly the recipe, but maybe if I'm vlogging, I'll show you. And I wanted to show you what I picked up in the pharmacy. So you remember I went there before. Uh, Dr. Marine is absolutely lovely. Uh, I think on the top of everything, all the products. Uh, they also do the COVID test, which I think is probably one of the best in terms of pricing, one of the best in London. I think Boots does it 420, but they also have got apparently a really, really high demand. So the waiting is maybe like three weeks. So if you guys need to travel or if you want to make your quarantine shorter, as far as I remember, all the last few weeks, it has been, if you come from a country that has to quarantine here for two weeks, you can also do it that you quarantine for five days and then you have your private test done. If that comes negative, you can finish your quarantine. So the French pharmacy does it for £125, which is great, it was super easy. You can then go and drop it yourself in the lab, which is literally two minutes away. Um, we literally just rang the bell, they open and you leave it there in the box. Uh, obviously the, the test has got your uh, contact details where they send you the result. I'm praying he's negative because bless, he's been here almost a month now. Uh, obviously we all had Covid over Christmas. Uh, so then he had to stay longer, otherwise he would have um, he would have been already in Netherlands. But it's okay because none of his friends are actually back yet. Uh, so uh, all the students obviously went for Christmas to home, you know, to their to stay with their family, and we are his closest family. So instead of flying to Malaysia, which would just complicate things, he stayed with us. Uh, okay, so what did I pick? So I got recommended this uh, from. One of my favorite beauty therapists. I spoke to her about my current issues. Uh, so this is the Effa Clar. I've actually used this in the past from La Roche Posay as a cleanser. And then I wanted like a good clay mask. I'm using Vichy, but I'm almost finished. And this is literally just five ninety nine. So I'm gonna tell you how I get on. Uh, so the French pharmacy stocks a lot of like the French brands. Is it's a lot of the brands like you would know like uh, La Roche Posay, Vichy, uh, Bioderma. Um, that are good for, they're like lab, lab brands, but very good if you have skin issues, sensitive uh, skin and stuff like that. I truly believe in these and they're actually really well priced point if you compare it to some other brands out there. Um, but this really caught my eye. I asked if they have any clay mask. This is only like 5 99 and it's a green clay. Uh, so I can't really wait to test this. Um, it's really good for uh, like pores, impurities, blemishes. And I wanted to get Liam some bubble bath. They've got really nice, uh, again, very gentle for babies and kids skin uh, products. And this is from Mustela. Uh, it's not uh, cheap, so this is 17.50, I think. But again, like really, really good. And I think this will last a lot because Dr. Marine was saying this is really bubbly. And actually, I love bubble bath now. I think we don't have much uh, kind of these small. Well, we don't have the big things now in our lives, so. I appreciate every small thing that, like bubble bath, that comes my way. What I want to do later, so Liam is just having his soup for lunch, which I cooked in the morning. Desmond had his wasabi. I need to cook for myself my detox. And I want to do later like a little pamper session and give you my thoughts on the patches. So like a little spa day. I may actually have a bubble bath just to warm myself up. And I think, unless things will change. I want to finish the vlog today uh, with my lovely pampering session uh, and give you kind of my thoughts on uh, the product, just how I feel, uh, if I see any immediate results and everything around that. So did I want to say anything else? I think that's it. So I'll catch up with you later. Hey guys, so I had the nicest bath. I've tried the Mbaba baths combined with uh, bath salts as I like it and the weather is dull so it's a perfect time to have a bit of pampering session. I've just uh, very roughly and not fully blow dry my hair. I'm just gonna keep it natural I'd say for the rest of the day. Um, I may not be able to because I've got actually two zoom calls and I'm just opening the package uh, from Oya the patches. So this is what you get inside and uh, let me try. So I am using actually um, hyaluronic acid. I just feel like the skin needs a bit of hydration because I was doing peel yesterday. And this is the best way how to achieve this. 
And then you meant to, before you put on the patches, you meant to uh, let your skin dry and absorb the product so it doesn't slide. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this. Uh, so basically this is reusable. You then wash it off uh, so you can keep it for numerous times. And I love personally using products like this when I want to like uh, pamper myself, like um, especially now uh, during this time. So I've got like other tools, but it just feels that extra special. Something like this for me would definitely work for when I want my makeup uh, look really good. So when your skin is really more moisturized and prepped, you normally get really good results. So when I would be filming, let's say a lot of makeup videos and I want makeup to sit perfectly. And then once we're out of lockdown, uh, definitely on special occasions when I'm going out, and I want this to look really good, uh, but you can also do it like once a week. So you're meant to like do your cleanse and um, cleanse, and then leave your skin dry. Apply the skincare you're using, and then um, I'm just waiting for this to dry, and then apply the patches. So you have got for neck, for eyes. So I believe this is the neck one. Just put a little bit more eye learning acid here and I've cleansed this before uh, and then you apply like this and these patches stay on for ideally for one hour to get really good results so I'm gonna lie down chill maybe do a little bit of work emails I've got a few things to catch up on whilst these are on and enjoy my afternoon whilst Liam is asleep so this one is going to go on the neck. Okay. It's actually quite nice and cooling. And then you have got forehead and then under eyes and around your mouth. Doesn't look the prettiest. Let's just hope the postman's not going to come now. <laughs> That happened to me yesterday actually. Okay, so these under your eyes. Okay, okay and these. Mm -hmm. It feels actually really nice. And then the last one on the forehead. I think it's very clever that they've done them clear. Okay. And now I'm gonna chill for one hour. Make myself maybe the detox drink I'm doing. And then I'll update you about the results. Well, I'm back. I've used the hour very productively. She's great, you can do this uh, with that and it feels good. I like really the tightening effect of this. So you can use these up to 15 times. And I'm actually gonna now take them off. You just wash them off and then reuse them when you need it. Really, really like it. Let me have a look. The skin feels really smooth after this. And really hydrated. So they say this is alternative to Botox, which we all need. Because when it comes to Botox, I'm not against it, but I'm gonna try to do my best to postpone it as much as possible. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, it feels really hydrated and like super smooth. I'm very happy with this. And you can see in the lines that the makeup would sit really well. If I'm going to be filming, um, I will actually um, apply makeup on because I have got uh, two Zoom events and just want to look a little bit more presentable. <laughs> um, so you will see how the makeup will fit. Very light makeup, but that's absolutely fine. But it feels really smooth, very nice. So I'm very happy with this. So I'm going to leave the link to this and all the information in the description box below if you can't guys have a look it's an um, anti wrinkle patches by Oya I put these back uh, and I'm just going to use the same pouch this is actually very handy and super easy and a story for the next time I'm going to use it 
So another tip I will give you with these is to use it every day if you want to really see long-term results when it comes to like wrinkles and aging. Um, but also a good idea is to definitely leave it overnight. So once you have got all your skincare uh, to make sure, you know, the products and everything your skin needs is going to really penetrate into your skin. So I will definitely give it a go as well. Right, so I applied a tiny little bit of makeup and you definitely see a difference. And I was using actually the new cleanser as well before, so that felt really good. I can't wait to see how my skin is going to react to it. I'm just going to put a little bit of, I'm leaving my hair natural like that. And uh, just a bit of Gizu hair oil. Um, I will link this below as well. And um, the products I showed you earlier and everything I mentioned in the video is going to be in the description box. And I am ready for the Zoom course later. Good now. A glass of water. And I think I'm going to guys finish the vlog here. Just because I feel like there's going to be quite a little bit in the vlog and a lot of chatting as well. I just received finally my mango orders, both at the same time, despite them being ordered um, um, probably <laughs> that was a week, maybe even longer, yeah, around a week difference. So I can't wait to open it. Uh, it literally just arrived when I was just finishing off something. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and um, hopefully you enjoyed this chatty video, but a little bit out and about. Thank you so much for watching. Apologies that you had to see me without makeup. <laughs> and I would love if you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and also. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle.